Hi, everyone. Welcome to Auto Age. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's start. Recently, Hubble appeared in the financing of a sodium battery startup. Not long ago, lithium battery startup Waylion also received investment from Hubble. Hubble is an investment company owned by Huawei. Why is Huawei investing in the power battery field? Is it to prepare for independent car manufacturing or simply to expand the industrial layout? In fact, many companies have already entered the field of sodium batteries. Why did Huawei start the layout of the new energy battery industry? What are the advantages of sodium and lithium batteries? How can these batteries be used in the automotive field? In fact, Huawei has its own photovoltaic projects and has been a mature industry for several years. With the most basic power generation capacity, the company also has in-depth cooperation with more than 190 power enterprises to provide smart grid, smart power plant and other solutions, as well as cloud platform construction technology and solutions. With its own power generation projects and power consumption channels, Huawei will also be faced with the situation that the electricity generated cannot be absorbed, so it either sends the electricity out or stores it. Therefore, what Huawei needs to solve is the problem of energy storage. Sodium and lithium batteries just solve this problem. So what are the advantages of them? Let's first look at sodium battery. The core raw material reserves of sodium batteries are large, and the mining difficulty is lower. The data shows that the content of sodium in the Earth's crust is 2.75%, which is a new energy battery material with abundant reserves and good availability. It has excellent high and low temperature performance, high safety in the face of extrusion, puncture and other scenarios, and also has fast charging capability. Moreover, the BOM cost of sodium batteries is also 20% lower than that of lithium batteries, and is lower than that of lithium iron phosphate. Lithium batteries have high capacity, high operating voltage and double the capacity of similar nickel-cadmium batteries, which is important for cars that need long battery life. In addition, it does not contain harmful substances such as cadmium, lead, mercury and so on. It is friendly to the environment and our body. What's more, lithium battery safety is high, can be safe and fast charge and discharge, and has the characteristics of short circuit resistance, impact resistance, vibration resistance, fireproof flower, no explosion. The world's largest energy storage order received by Huawei is the Saudi Red Sea project with an energy storage scale of 1,300 megawatt hours. What is the concept? One megawatt hour is equivalent to 1,000 kilowatt hours. Now the power battery packs of some electric vehicles are relatively large, which is about 100 kilowatt hours, and 1,300 megawatt hours is about equal to the storage capacity of 13,000 large electric vehicles. What is the commercial value of 1,300 megawatt hours? This is obviously an extremely large number. With the carbon neutrality plan of many countries, Renewable electricity has become one of the main energy sources in the future, and energy storage business has gradually become the development direction of the battery field in the future. In addition to its superscale energy storage projects, Huawei this year began shipping large-scale 2 megawatt hours energy storage projects to the Japanese market, but Huawei has not disclosed the supplier of the battery cells for such large-scale energy storage equipment. In addition to Huawei, Tesla is also focusing on this field. Tesla's Powerwall features a maximum capacity of 13.5 kilowatt hours of household energy storage and is priced at $3,000. Tesla's Megapack large-scale energy storage device, 
with a capacity of 3 megawatt hours, can meet the electricity consumption of 3,600 households for one hour. Last year, the price of Megapack was about 1.2 million US dollars, and now the price of it is about 1.53 million US dollars due to rising raw material prices. There is a huge incremental market in the energy storage industry. If the self-developed downstream industries are not well controlled, the profits will be attributed to third-party suppliers. It is reasonable that Huawei invested the sodium battery industry under the premise of ability and financial resources. The raw materials of sodium batteries are easy to obtain, the production cost is lower than that of lithium batteries, and the chemistry is more suitable for energy storage. So how can Huawei's battery industry apply in the automotive field? Huawei has invested in two battery startups, a sodium battery company and a lithium battery company. Based on these investments, we can conclude that Huawei has two possibilities in the battery field of new energy vehicles. For the first possibility, now, in addition to NEO, CATL and BYD are planning their own electrical switching business. What is the incremental space in this market? Last year, 3.54 million new energy vehicles were produced in China. However, ground charging piles were still the main source of charging, resulting in long charging time and low efficiency. The future development direction is that the penetration rate of new energy vehicles will be higher and higher, which will bring a new development direction in the energy supplement field. A power exchange station needs to open up the local power grid construction and other channels, and will use an energy storage system to ensure large-scale power battery charging. For the above two prerequisites, Huawei has ready-made resources to use. If the investment in the field of sodium batteries makes a breakthrough, it is equivalent to winning the key link of the electric vehicle battery swap ecological chain. For the second, Willian is a project of achievement transformation of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, and its core products are solid-state batteries and solid-state battery modules. Under the premise that battery products such as ternary lithium batteries and lithium iron phosphate batteries cannot break through the performance bottleneck, in order to further improve battery performance, the development direction of the industry gradually begins to favor the technical field of solid-state batteries. At present, companies that currently deploy solid-state batteries include Honda, Nissan, Volkswagen, BMW, Toyota and CATL. These car companies and suppliers have begun to build their own solid-state battery technical barriers. Huawei is one of them. New energy seems to have become a target pursued by many companies, and Huawei is no exception. After being sanctioned by the United States, Huawei's mobile phone business has been hit hard, so it is reasonable for Huawei to carry out other businesses to relieve the pressure. Previously, Huawei's car manufacturing was also to relieve the pressure of sanctions, and on the other hand, it was the business layout of the company. We don't know whether Huawei's new energy battery business is to build cars independently, but new energy batteries are very important in the new energy field. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.